Hello guys, this is Kudo, and today in this video I will show you how you can create an asset bundle. So, let's get into it. So, first thing we need to do, so what we need to do, we need to go on the script uh, folder, or if you want you can go outside the script folder, it doesn't matter. And what you need to do, you need to create a folder, so let's create a folder, and name it editor, so e uh, d e t o like this make sure to spell it right because sometimes um, you need it's a dedicated um, folder using on unity so why we're using editor because we'll create a function so we'll uh, add a function in unity itself to be able to create our asset bundle so in this um, in this folder so you can open it and what we want to do we want to create a C sharp script and this C sharp script Let's call it maybe create asset uh, bundle, something very easy. Okay, and now let's open it in Visual Studio and let's code our function. Okay, so the script is open. Now we what we can do? So we can erase this because we don't need it. We don't need mono behavior because uh, we'll we will be using uh, editor uh, customize. Uh, we will need using Unity Engine here. Yeah. What we need, we need to use Unity uh, Editor. So using Unity uh, Editor, all right, and uh, Unity System, because we need to create some path. So basically, this script again, I'm telling you, uh, this script will be used to be able to create our asset bundle. So what we want to do, so we want to create uh, so a private static function so static void and let's create uh, let's name this function uh, build all asset bundles so b u u n all right okay and make sure to make it static and make sure something else we want to be able to call this function in our unity so in the um, in the file or edit uh, window. So let me be clear. So let me head back to Visual Studio. And what we want to do here, we want to be able to call this function again in Unity. So we want to create so a menu item. So we'll add it on the menu item. And we're in the menu item. So for me, I will be uh, in assets. So um, uh, TS slash. And uh, when I will open the the window asset, I will be able to see our function. So this function will be very easy. We'll call it create uh, asset uh, uh, bundles. Okay. And right now, what we what we want to do, we want to save this, save it. Let's head back to Unity, and let's see if our function is been added. So if I uh, let me add something to be able to find is this working so let's be at debug dot log uh, yay I'm clicking okay save this let's head back to unity and now as you can see if I go back to asset we got our function create asset bundle and if I click on it the code will be execute so this is very nice and this is how you can create some method to overwrite or maybe add some tools for Unity. Uh, but um, so today we are using, uh, we'll create a tools to be able to create our asset bundle. So I don't need the debug. So what I need to do to create, to be able to create my asset, I will need a path. I will need a folder uh, to register all the bundle I will create. So let's create a string. This string will be my uh, asset bundle directory. So asset uh, bundle uh, directory path. Okay. And this will be equal to application. Uh, so, sorry. So application dot data pass. So the application data pass will retrieve where the project is uh, saved. And what I want to do in um, in the application that I pass, I want to go back to a folder before. So to be able to do that, 
we will add um, a slash dot dot slash and what i need to do uh, i will i want to all my asset to not be created in my asset folder in uh, unity so in here in here but before this folder but it's up to you you can create your asset bundle here but i don't like to mix everything so i like to put it uh, uh, before this so for example in my hierarchy so let me show you uh, so in my folder in my folder here so this will be here youtube project and the um, the two dot i put will be will me will bring me back to this hierarchy and what i need to do i need to create a folder if i just use uh, application data pass this will um, relocate in me here but i don't want this but again it's up to you so what i need to do so here i will create so let's create a new folder and let's name it so asset so asset bundles b u uh, ben, asset bundles uh, yeah asset bundles that will be nice that will be okay okay so make sure to copy paste this and uh, paste it in your visual studio here like that and now we just create our path so to be able to use this path what we need to do so i will make a try and for sure if we use try we need to catch so it will catch an exception if something is going wrong like this and we want to debug uh, debug dot log this uh, debug.log warning maybe log warning this exception like this okay and in the try function this will be very very easy it's on the documentation on unity what we want to do we want to build our asset uh, asset bundle so what i will use what i will use i will use the functionality of unity so i will use build build pipeline so build pipeline okay dot build asset bundle with s that, uh, build asset bundles because i want to use more and uh, they, he will ask me where i want to register it this will be very easy i want to uh, build it in asset bundle uh, asset bundle directory so asset bundle uh, directory path like this after it will ask me the build option so i don't want to use a build option so i will put a um, build asset bundle option to none and the last one is a target platform i will i will do something very easy i will use um so editor uh, editor user so editor user where is editor user editor user build setting and i will take the current one so active build target so basically, if you are in WebGL or if you are in Android, this will automatically generate the, um, the asset bundle uh, you are currently working with. So we can basically save this. And now we just create our function to be able to build our asset bundle. But now how we can say, OK, I want this object to become an asset bundle. I want to this object to become an asset bundle. Very easy. Let's head back to Unity and let me show you. So here in the asset, so I will create a folder, create a folder. Let's name this folder maybe asset bundles. So asset uh, bundles uh, wanted, okay. So basically, this folder will be my reference to put all my object. I want to turn this object into an asset bundles. So we can open it. And now let's maybe create a cube. So let's create a 3D object. Let's create a cube here. Let's reset it for sure. And maybe uh, let's put this cube maybe in uh, with some material something maybe blue like this okay 
okay and let's put something blue and what we want to do maybe rename the cube asset bundle cube okay and what we want to do we just want to drag and drop this asset bundle cube in my in my asset bundle wanted okay so we can erase this it's okay and now last thing we need to do as you can see here uh, on the inspector we got all the transform cube etc etc but here we got asset bundle cube and here we got asset bundle and right now the asset bundle is on none so what we want to do we just want to click on it add a new asset bundle just name it maybe uh, cube prefab um, or maybe uh, my first asset bundles uh, prefab for example click enter and now what we want to do uh, let me open my uh, my folder here as you can see we got nothing right now and what we want to do we just want to execute our function we just create in the editor so let's go on uh, file uh, sorry uh, assets and let's click on create asset bundle and let's see the magic happen as you can see uh, unity is recompiled uh, before build so it will build our asset bundles and it will register it if we don't have any error if the folder is existing without any error this unity will returning our asset bundle in our asset bundle directory so it's building so let me open my folder and as you can see here my bundle is created so that's it guys for this video in the next video i will show you a way to import your asset bundle from uh, a server uh, there will be uh, two ways so the easy way and the more complex way with the more advanced code so i will release two of them but um, there it is guys so very easy very nice to be able to create an asset bundle so hope you learned something and i catch you guys next time see you Thanks for watching. So, if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you and I catch you guys next time.